Hi, this is Michael at Compass Folk. As you can see, we've been decorating the office behind me. Um, if you'd like to continue seeing videos from me, please consider supporting us in any way you can. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Tonight we're going over the Sony SSCS5. so excited to have a record player out here I forgot to turn it off but as I said this is the Sony SSCS5 you can see here it's black all black vinyl wrap port in the back nice five-way binding post um, it's not overly well built but for the price, this is right around $120 right now. It's pretty well built. It's more well built than any other speaker I've seen at that price. I actually bought this for my bedroom after watching um, Randy over at the Cheap Audio Man did a review on it and I liked the things he had to say so I figured I'd pick it up and try it out. This grill comes off. And unfortunately, in most videos, you can't see it. That subwoofer, or the woofer, is a really weird color. It's green. Um, it's the only thing I don't like about the look of this. The rest of it's just plain black. Kind of wish that woofer were black as well, but it is obviously not. We have five and a quarter inch woofer, a one inch tweeter, and then a 0.75 inch super tweeter up here. The specs are 87 decibels at 6 ohm. It plays fairly loud and it plays on anything. I have plugged this into multiple amps including the sound base that I did a review on which it pairs really well with because that sound base has that meaty low end and this is a bit lively speaker. The highs are definitely clear and present speaking of yeah the treble in this is fantastic this super tweeter is supposed to go up to like 50,000 kilohertz um i don't i don't measure them so i don't know if that's true or not i do know that if it is true my ears can't hear it i'm not like a dog or a rodent but it doesn't bother my dogs so the treble is very clear and detailed has a nice roll off really good resolution um, especially at this price point it's very good at picking up details the only time I have a problem with the treble in this is when you start getting into it with a larger amp it tends to become a bit shrilly up top that top end rolls off nicely into the mid-range which is really good being that there are two tweeters and a woofer here. There's, there's no real mid speaker in this three way. I found that it accurately represents acoustic performances, especially male vocals seem to come through real nice on this. The mids are transparent and clear really can't find better in this price range I don't believe the base is good keep in mind this only has the five and a quarter inch woofer it drops down I think they rated it 50 Hertz I would say that in room it probably drops lower that 50 Hertz is what they measured at the factory probably in an anechoic chamber it doesn't go super deep but it does roll off nicely in a larger room I would suggest pairing this with a subwoofer but like I said in my bedroom which is fairly small there's plenty of bass with just that with just the setup I have I found that in a smaller room like my bedroom if I pull this about nine inches from the wall nine to twelve I get a nice bass response and I, I don't feel the need for a subwoofer especially when I pair it again with the SVS sound base. 
The sound stage and imaging on this are kind of ridiculous for a $120 speaker. It's super wide. I have found no need to tow these in. In fact, I find that I like them best straight ahead. I can sit in the middle and everything is where it's supposed to be. The imaging is great. Sounds that are supposed to be coming from the right come from the right. Sounds that are supposed to be coming from the left come from the left. And the transitions are smooth back and forth. Yeah, imaging is fantastic. Especially if you are listening to acoustic stuff. It seems to It seems to really cast it out wide wide and deep um the records the mtv unplugged records they sound like you're sitting first row you know it's not right in your face not breathing into your mouth but you're back a little ways and you can see where kurt cobain is sitting where dave is playing the drums you can pick where the instruments are things that are recorded in a in a larger hall or auditorium this does a really good job at presenting that to you again for the price for that $120 so for $120 I I highly recommend checking this out especially if you're on a shoestring budget or you're trying to create a secondary system in a smaller room this this performs well for its price performs well above its price I would say I have matched it up against several other speakers that cost closer to two hundred dollars and, and this has been able to outshine them as long as you like that little bit lively sound I will put a link in the description below to this and some of the items I've paired it with keep in mind their Amazon affiliate links if you purchase from them I get a couple dollars um, but that goes to help support this so 